the report of the NDC Election Review Committee, which for some unfathomable reason has been called in the public domain the Kweziboche Report. Um, you asked us by your letter of January 4th to conduct a review, among other things, into the factors that led to the party's defeat in the 2016 elections and a number of other incidental matters. We have executed that mandate. I'd like to say just a word about the process we adopted in executing that mandate. I can say that as a committee, we have indeed traveled the length and breadth of the country. We divided the country into zones, divided ourselves into four groups, covered all the regions, and in each region, we clustered all the constituencies and bust or transported uh, a sampling of members, executives, senior people in each constituency to a common venue where we gave them a full hearing, um, invited them to make comments and air their views, and I'm gratified to say that they did. We put them on notice that their views will be recorded uh, for purposes of record keeping. Um, and I'm happy to say that they did speak freely, openly, and frankly. So we assembled all these views throughout the country. Um, then sought to decipher and synthesize and understand uh, the views we had collated. We identified the recurring themes and everything in these views as the background to the preparation of our report. We then set about poring over the material and preparing a 455-page report that fully details, we believe, um, what all the factors that, at least in the minds of our people, caused the loss of the party. But we subjected this to analysis, of course, which is all captured fairly rigorously and scientifically in this 455-page report. I'm happy to present this report to you, and the Chairman, if you so please, and allow me, I will, um, at some point, speak a little bit um, about the report and give you a bit of a flavor of what we have in it. So, Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the committee, it is my very great pleasure to deliver to you the report of the committee. Thank you very much, and uh, I would like to assure uh, you and the members of your committee that we are grateful for the report, and uh, we will take the recommendations and your analysis very seriously, uh, right up to the grassroots. And I'm sure when we are able to do this satisfactorily, our party shall rise to victory again. Thank you very much. Thank you. The report, Mr. Chairman, as you would notice, is subtitled Listening to the Voice of the Grassroots of the Party. Thank you. Thank you. For this morning's purposes, I just would like to uh, emphasize uh, that we did a fairly comprehensive and rigorous job of listening to everybody uh, who came to these meetings. And as I indicated, I'm grateful that everybody spoke frankly and 
honestly. We do make a number of recommendations, including one, a recommendation, a recommendation that the party put together a group of credible and eminent members of our party to undertake um, a peacemaking and healing tour of the country and visit all key centers and constituencies. We believe this, this is extremely important um, for purposes of creating the necessary conditions for any serious work that needs to be done in the way of a pa the party's restructuring and renewal. We also have recommendations, a recommendation that the party take steps to restore the integrity of the biometric register and the expanded electoral college. Additionally, we recommend that steps be taken to restore the capacity and effectiveness of the party's organs, especially at the branch level, where we believe these organs are the most critical because they are the party's immediate connection with the people. We are, after all, Mr. Chairman, a truly mass party. The Chairman, we also have recommendations on ways in which we can and must improve the collation of election results. Um, We also believe that steps ought to be taken by the party to reconnect itself properly to our social democratic roots and the principal actors in, the, in, this, in these social democratic groups, the social forces that populate our social democratic base. We believe and also do recommend that steps ought to be taken to strengthen research and intelligence in the party. This should involve um, crowding in a larger body of the party's intellectual capacity. which has not been particularly active, I don't believe, in the last few years. This will help to support the party's own research mm -hmm. capacity. Finally, we have recommendations that hopefully should guide the party in scaling up and reinvigorating its work in the area of youth mobilization, and finally, the organization of women. We note that significant changes have taken place in the country's demographic profile, mm -hmm. and that the party ought to take note of it with all the implications mm -hmm. of these changes mm -hmm. in our demography, as well as trends in urbanization. Mm -hmm.